Stefan, please give us your definition of a hedge fund and describe some of the financial tools that are employed in hedge fund strategies that actively seek alpha and manage the downside risk. That's quite a broad question. I, I think I'm going to focus a little bit today on, on a topic that I think a lot of people are actually uncomfortable with, and that is shorting in, in the hedge fund industry. Um, why we short, what the, the uses are of, uh, of shorts, and um, the benefits of them. So firstly, I, I would like to say that there are so many tools available um, to, to investment managers and investment professionals in, in the financial world. But many of them are not available to traditional um, product offerings. Um, and this is where I believe hedge funds really have a leg up um, on, on those uh, traditional funds. Um, and I see the biggest, the biggest goal for a hedge fund manager is just to optimize these tools, to make sure that by optimizing your cost of funding, your leverage, your short positions, um, the opportunity costs uh, within the fund, by optimizing all of those costs, you can actually generate significant alpha, um, even over and above your stock picking potential that, that, you, that you can generate some alpha on as well. So let's expand a little bit on, on, on shorts. In Capricorn, we spend a lot of time of short, on, on our short book. Our short portfolio is a significant um, deriver of, uh, or um, generator of alpha for our fund. And I do believe that it's actually it's something that not a lot of people focus on and they don't see the value in shorts. And the reason for this is that everybody basically just looks at it as a profit center or as a way to protect against market movements or let's say to lower volatility. We actually look at shorts very differently. We have four main categories that we put our shorts in. They are protecting you on from, from market um, risk, protecting factor risks, protecting you from factors, um, profit centers, and funding shorts. So let me explain a little bit on, on those uh, four categories. So if you look at market shorts, they are the traditional short the index and protect your portfolio from sell-off in the general equity markets. We actually don't like those shorts that, the, that much. Firstly, it, we feel it's a very blunt tool um, for a very specific task. Um, and then it can actually expose you to more risk than you are aware of and can take you completely uh, from left field sometimes. And a good example of this was perhaps the SAB takeout um, a few years ago um, where the index rallied significantly just because of SAB, but the rest of the market was actually down. So we use those very seldomly and only in very extreme events. The factor um, shorts are also very specific shorts. These are, for example, when you want to hedge out a specific risk that you're uncomfortable with in an investment case out of a wider investment case. An example of this will perhaps be um, an Exaro um, uh, long position, if you perhaps like Exaro, and you like the coal division, but you don't like the iron ore exposure. You're uncomfortable with the level of iron ore, so you will go and um, enter into a short position that is only exposed it to iron ore. And this will then allow you to take that iron ore risk out of an Exaro investment thesis and only get exposure to, to the coal um, assets. This we're a lot more comfortable with. It is a, a very much more specific, but it is also very dependent on the investment case. On some instances, it's probably not worthwhile to, to take that risk. It introduces um, uh, variables that, that you may not be aware of, but it is a short that, that we are much more prone to do. The next one, and that's probably the rarest of them all, is actually a profit center risk uh, short. These shorts are there in which we want to make money in where we hope that the share price will go down in future and we can close it at a lower price. Stock markets go up <laughs> in general. 70% uh, of the time, um, stock prices tend to move higher and it will be very specific, company specific mistakes that will cause us to enter into a, um, a profit center short. These will usually be when there were poor allocations of capital or just a bad investment decision made by the management of that team. As I say, we're always um, uh, ready to, 
to try and extract alpha from these positions, but they're actually qu quite few and far between and a small portion of our short book. Our biggest portion of our short book is actually our funding short book. Basically what this is, is these are stocks where we believe they just do not have anything that's going to drive their um, share prices. And we believe that th these shares will actually underperform the yield on cash over a year, three month, three year period. These shorts are incredibly valuable to a hedge fund manager because it allows you to minimize the cost of buying your longs or the opportunity cost of um, actually having cash in your portfolio. And that's why we always have the benchmark of these shorts, the funding shorts, as cash. They have to yield less than um, the cash yield um, over a certain period. Otherwise, it will be better just to borrow money and go and uh, invest that in your, your long book rather than funding it with a short. And Capricorn has been very, very successful in finding those shorts that, that just go nowhere for a very long time and optimize our cost of capital and our funding um, position.